As you're preparing for your adventure with Western River Expeditions, one of the most common questions is, what camera should I take? Why don't I just take a few minutes and describe some of the possible options for bringing a camera down here in the river environment. This is of course a place where you really are going to have some incredible pictures, not only of the scenery, but also the excitement and the memories that you'll be creating down here. So you do want to take a moment and think about what type of camera are you going to have. So let's take a look at a few of the options. One of the most popular cameras down here is these uh, waterproof, shockproof cameras. They're, they're small, you can keep them in a pocket during a hike. They generally have a great zoom without having a, a large profile on the lens and are fairly durable out here to the, to the conditions. Now if you have a standard camera that's not a waterproof and you want to waterproof it, you can certainly find ways to do that. Now one of the most popular options are something like this, the Aquapack. This is something you can find online at our partner retailer, redrockoutfitters.com. You can simply slide your camera inside there and cinch it down and it makes a great way to just keep that camera protected from both water and sand. They also have this nice little uh, you know, carrying straps you can put over your head if you're on a hike or something like that. So that's a, that's a great and easy way to go. It also gives you a little bit of room to not only handle the camera inside here, but also to uh, allow that, if you have any profile on your zoom, to allow that to come in and out as well. So good option if you don't, if you don't have a camera that's already you know, one of the waterproof versions that might work well out here. Another option, uh, very popular these days, is something like a GoPro camera with the waterproof housing. Now, the only drawback to something like this is that you really can't manipulate the zoom at all. You're always going to be shooting wide angle. Um, while that might be fine for some cases, you may want, you know, you may want a zoom to be able to compose a shot a certain way. But uh, very easy for video, very easy for photo. Uh, most of these other cameras these days are also shooting video, so you could capture it that way as well. Now another option, becoming more and more popular, as uh, cell phones now have excellent cameras on them, is to bring your mobile phone. Now, the only worry we have about this is, is protecting it. So there's a couple of options. There's hard cases uh, that will go around that and allow you to still operate the phone. Or again, you can find a, the smaller version of the Aquapack that is very suitable for uh, the phone. Now this does, most of these other cameras we're talking about likely have batteries that you can bring an extra battery, replace extra cards and so forth. If you're going to bring along a cell phone, think about bringing along a little portable charging device. Uh, there are many of these out there, they're not real expensive now, and they can simply plug your, uh, your cable into that, you plug it out uh, into your phone, and you can get about three or four charges off of one of these generally if it's fully charged before you leave. Um, you know, that is assuming that you've got your phone set on airplane mode, you're not, you know, you're not really going to eat through that battery life very quickly as it continues to try to connect. That's an option. One thing I will mention with cell phones, obviously they will not work. Uh, out here on the river, but uh, also take a moment and really think about, you know, if you're, especially if you're traveling with family or traveling with younger children, uh, will having that phone be any kind of distraction for them? This is an environment where we can really come and escape all of that and truly disconnect, get away from the electronics, which I think as parents is often one of the last environments we can do this in. You really want to take advantage of that. So try to leave that kind of stuff at home and if the phone does come, just use it for pictures and nothing more. The nice thing about having a cell phone is they're there ready to post when you get home and that's a good option assuming you can protect it. The last option I want to talk about is larger SLR cameras. If you have a camera like this, keep in mind that bringing it out into this environment is a risk not only for the water, but perhaps even more so for the sand. Uh, the sand out here in this environment is very fine and tends to find its way into every little crack and crevice. But obviously we get much better pictures a lot of the time with something like this. So if you do choose to bring something like this, uh, you have a couple of options to protect it. One of them is to maybe bring a, you know, bring a padded waterproof case. That can work okay and you sometimes, depending on the size of your camera, you may be able to stick that down inside your day bag and then pull that out, uh, that can work okay. Another option is to bring along a, uh, a Pelican case. Now something like this has foam inside it that you can pull out, obviously get the right size for your camera, you don't need to overdo it with something like that. Um, but if you've got your camera 
you're able to stick that in there with a couple extra batteries, a um, couple extra cards, whatever. You can get something that pads that really nicely, absolutely protects it from, you know, water and so forth. And uh, bring along a an extra carabiner or two uh, and a, maybe a strap so that you can strap that down. And uh, if you're planning to bring additional equipment beyond what I've talked about here, be sure to talk to our office and let's make sure that that's, uh, we know about it and uh, can plan ahead for that and make sure that that's going to be okay on your trip. So hopefully you found this useful as we've talked about cameras and, and what's, uh, what to bring out here. No matter which camera you choose to bring on the river, be sure to check out our website and emails for additional guidelines and instruction as far as photography and video on the river.